Hello, this is Mark Pollitt, and I just wanted to uh, uh, spend a couple minutes here and share with you uh, some uh, ideas about using laboratory notes. Uh, laboratory notes are not merely something that's required, but they really are something that you're going to rely on uh, to not only do the examination, but to prepare for and actually do your later testimony, uh, and also, of course, uh, writing your report. So it's important to have good notes, uh, but a lot of uh, folks, when they first start, kind of wonder, what does that really mean? Well, um, I put up an example uh, on the on learning management system, and uh, I've also got it on the screen here. I want to go over just a few points uh, about it. Um, the first part is the, the top, obviously, which is just the laboratory number. Uh, in this case, we're going to use uh, whatever the uh, particular uh, assignment is, and obviously your name under examiner name. The, uh, the body of it actually has two columns. The first is for date and time, and you want to log when you start doing something and when you stop doing something. So as you're going to see here, I uh, started at 0745 in the morning uh, on the 24th of uh, February and uh, at 8.03 I uh, stopped doing whatever I was doing and took a coffee break. Uh, that's fine. Um, you basically just want to record when you start and when you stop. Um, the other thing is you want to include enough detail in the uh, notes that you can use it to write your report, but also to uh, uh, recreate the exam if you had to or if the uh, peer reviewer had to. And in fact, the, the notes are really key to a good peer review because what's going to happen, uh, as we're going to talk about when we talk about peer reviews later on, that the peer reviewer is going to look at your report and go, okay, that's good. Uh, let's see what's behind the curtain here. And they're going to go and look at the notes and go, oh, okay, I see how this got here, and yeah, this is supported here. And he looks at the report and says, wait a minute, I don't see this in the notes. And that's a problem. And it will be a problem for you, uh, not just in peer review, but if the peer reviewer misses that, it'll be a real problem for you when you get to trial. So you want to make sure that you've got enough stuff in there. So I always err for putting more stuff in there. Uh, screenshots are really useful, however, comma, um, I strongly encourage you to uh, crop them or make them uh, as small as you can because you're going to find if you do an extensive examination, it's not unusual for your notes to be uh, tens of pages long uh, and if you've got lots of screenshots in there, the size of those uh, document files are going to be huge. Uh, and so uh, crop them as much as you can. Uh, and you can see an example here where uh, I took uh, the command prompt and merely cropped the uh, part of it that was pertinent to uh, what I was trying to do. And you'll see that it really accomplishes two things. Uh, one uh, is that it records what I did, but it also records the value in a way that somebody can see. Now I actually could have done something uh, uh, even more advantageous as well. When I had the uh, command prompt up, if I had highlighted that MD5 uh, uh, hash uh, and then copied it into the laboratory notes as text, then I would have been able to use that uh, very uh, uh, grotesque number um, uh, in my report or wherever I needed it by just cutting and pasting, uh, which you cannot do uh, with a screenshot. So uh, just a, a, an added suggestion there. Looking at the bottom of the page, you'll notice that there's a footer uh, in the Word document. Uh, you can actually go in and edit that footer uh, so that it automatically paginates it for you and uh, puts in your initials, and you might want to do that. It is important to make sure that you number the pages of your notes. Uh, that way you ensure that the notes are complete and that uh, you know that you're not missing any of those, uh, those pages. At any rate, um, this is just a, a quick and dirty of uh, what it looks like, and uh, I hope it was helpful. Until next time, have a good day.